Here we have a compressor, reciprocating compressor. This is from a refrigerator. So it's got a little different rules for identifying it, but it still is short and fat or that oval shaped. We have the, here the motor at the bottom part and then the pump action is actually over here in the top part. So this is very similar. We got our single crankshaft here. And uh, as we turn the rotor, it just pushes the piston back and forth, back and forth, that rotation action. So some things here, this is our suction port. We're gonna read our suction pressure. Over here, we have our discharge line and our discharge line runs all the way up. The spring is put on here so that they can bend it from the factory. It comes all the way down, comes back across, it comes all the way over here and then into this section from this section to our main chamber. The suction, so this is our discharge, high pressure, and this is our suction port, so the suction line comes in, falls to the bottom, and then somewhere there'll be an intake. We'll open it up and see if we can find it. Our plug is over here on the side, and then it also has the plug going to the motor on the back side of that. Very simple. Uh, down here at the bottom, we got these two ports. There's a tube that runs very along the very, very bottom underneath the compressor, and this tube comes back. I can't remember exactly what these tubes go to, but they've always been sealed off. So I think it's a type of cooling loop. These don't go to the refrigeration cycle. I've never seen it go to the refrigeration cycle. I've heard that it has to do with water, but I just can't remember and I forgot to look it up for this video. So I apologize, but that's irrelevant. Most of them we see don't have that. So if we take the head unit off here, here we have the valve plate and this is the intake. So this one's actually pulling the intake from the bottom. Let's uh, pull these little clips off. As we pull this plate off, we see this is part of our valves here. And this is the intake tube. So it's just a hollow chamber. I imagine this is probably working very similar to a suction line accumulator. So here's our valve plate, one side of it, and the other side of it's on here. So one of these valves. So if we look on the other side, we can see that valve just barely open and close. It's a very small compressor, so not much room there. And then our other valve plate being here, this valve will be facing the opposite direction. Here's our other valve plate, reed valve. And it say that valve just opens and closes. And this is our piston. So as we turn our rotor, we can see the reciprocating action happen. So once we discharge, it actually sends it through this headpiece here, and there's a little bitty tube right here. That tube enters into this chamber, and then this chamber, and then all the way down around and back out the discharge line right here. The suction is just on the casing.